Hello guys, this video will be about PHP with a small lesson of optimization based on filament project with static properties in class. So while reviewing one of the filament projects tiny CRM, I noticed this in the resource file, which is a typical thing for filament. For navigation, you can specify the badge amount and the color. So this on the left leads number of leads and then the color of that badge. But as a result, we have two repeating queries, same identical queries to the database, see below in the debug bar, because, well, this part is repeated. So we're doing count once and count twice. So I thought maybe it's worth refactoring into a local variable with some kind of constructor setting it once. But the problem is those are static. So if we do something like leads count, for example, property in the very beginning and try to set that in constructor. So public function construct and then do leads count equals this for example, and then return this here, leads count here, and then the same here, replace, look what happens. We refresh the page, and we have an error with static property must not be accessed before initialization, which means we cannot use constructor in this way. So I kind of gave up on that. So I thought, okay, it's not possible probably because it's all static. So the variable name and value wouldn't even be saved because to me, in my mind, the keyword static means we do not have a specific object. We just define a static class without the state. But apparently if you do that, not in constructor, it would work. Let me show you. So if we revert back to the original state, instead of having these functions calling SQL queries, we have this. Let me uncomment. So this, we create a separate function, get leads count that would be called from both of those navigation badge and navigation badge color. Let's actually comment out the older versions. And this is our functions now. So we're calling the self static function, which checks if the self property is set or not. By default, it is not set. We don't have any default value. So that would execute once. And what was new to me that this value would stay. I always thought that static means we cannot operate the same variable calling it the second time from another function, but apparently you can. So I have refreshed the page and we have the same correct result of 28 leads with the color and only one query to the database, not two queries. And also there's one more thing we could optimize is this. Did you know about PHP operator called null coalescing assignment operator? It's pretty hard to Google actually. I have Googled it by name, but there's no official page about it in the documentation. So you have Stack Overflow, you have RFC proposal, and only down below here in the new features of PHP 7.4, in the middle of that page, you can find this. So same example, if not is set, we set something, assign something. So we can do, or actually let's do it right here inside. So question mark, question mark equals, and then we don't need those on top. We don't need if statement. So if that is set, it would not be executed. Otherwise, if it's null or empty or not is set, that would get executed once. Again, refresh the page to make sure that it works. Yep, only one query, the value still stays. So that's kind of the final version of what I wanted to show you. So two things as a recap in filament, if you have repeating queries in static resource, you can create static property and use it inside. And also for some of you, this may be new, null coalescing assignment operator. What do you think about this example? Do you have any other thoughts about how static things work in PHP object-oriented programming? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you are new to Filament Admin Panel and how it works on Laravel Daily, I have a special course on the courses page. One of the most popular courses is Filament 3 from scratch. So I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.